Oh, got one. There's one remaining. Wrong weapon. No, why did I switch the, from the minigun? Oh, because I'm in cover, that's why. Oh, that's bad RNG. Bad, terrible RNG. Fuck. If it wasn't for that bad RNG switch, I would have got him. <sighs> okay. Take two. This guy's literally not gonna... Where you at? Gotcha. Why'd you put a big O for the LOL? I need an alien vehicle. But I think what I want to do, uh, let me collect some money and ammo real quick. Yeah, though. I got you. Okay. I'm trying to remember where there's other... You just go through here. I know there's like a shit ton of money and weapons out here I can pick up. Uh, maybe not a shit ton. Maybe just a little. Hello. This is Morse Mutual Insurance. I'm gonna call the screen and get in. It should let you make multiple claims without having to keep calling them back. Mutual, we're okay. here to help. I don't need any of these. I actually want to leave all those destroyed. It would be this one. I here. think we can do that. Have a nice day. Thank you. Get rid of these cops. Oh. Alien invasion. Let me, uh. That's the that's the fun of this game is just throwing shit. You, uh, need me to bring you a ride? Let me get this thing just to. It's on the way. I'm gonna go spin the lucky wheel. You, I just I just went. Oh, that guy just hit that guy. I kind of witnessed it. Damn, that was crazy. I heard the hit, I heard him fall down. Time to go spin the lucky wheel, lucky wheel. Let's see what I land on. Let me put music on for myself. I might want to use this later. Hello, Pegasus Lifestyle Management. How can I help you? The jet. Thank you, sir. Your spectacular aircraft is now ready for you at our nearest airfield. Easy. To me, 
ice water, man. Can't beat it. I agree. I actually agree with that. About to spin the wheel. Uh, let's see what we get. Something good, hopefully. Oh, yeah, great. I won 15,000 chips. Which means I can go gamble. Or not. Uh, I'm going to trade these all in for money. I used to gamble when this casino first came out a couple months back, but it got boring a little bit. So I just traded in all the chips I acquire for money. But uh, let me speak to my boy up here. I'm going to fly away and I throw my. What are my uh, personal choppers? <laughs> what the hell? That was a weird spawn. I heard someone laughing while I was taking off in my chopper. I'm gonna do another gang attack. You, I don't. Me too. What do you mean, me too? doing where is it at where did it spawn oh just because I called this in the hydra went away oh nice very nice very nice I'm starting to get hungry this always happens to me whenever I'm live streaming I'm like 20, 30 minutes in, I start to get hungry. I picked the wrong times. Unless I would like snack on live. Well live stream, but I picked the I picked the wrong times to uh live stream I guess sometimes. I think there's a gang attack at the top of the map up here. Notice what <clears throat> that I go live at inopportune times for my hungers. Oh, look at the moon! Look at the moon! Yeah, I don't know why. I guess it's just called lifing. Oh, that's right. You want to see me drive. I want to, uh, you just jump out. I forget how to trigger the smoke. It's not working. Of course it's not working. Here comes the Joppa. Bro, is that gonna... Okay, I thought it was gonna land on me for a second. Oof. Now before I call in a vehicle... Might get cops. Yep. Never fails. Too 
far away from a road? We're about to find out. I can't get your ride over there right now. Of course you can, when the road's literally right here. So I have to literally jump down this hill. A football field away just for you to recognize that I'm near a suitable road. That ain't gonna work. I can't really? find it right now. I'm right next to a road. Dude, you're you're fucking worthless. I'm literally right next to this road. What you need, boss? Some wheels? I can bring them around. <sighs> trying to think, is it the Tesseract? I think it's called the Tesseract. It's like an alien I'll futuristic get there as soon as I car. can. I will find out. I forgot to stock up on bot. I don't know. I'm good on body armor. I forgot to stock up on snacks earlier. That sucks. You're gonna spawn. This is terrible RNG. Terrible. The spawn way over here. Yeah, that's the one. Go to blue alien. Let me try. Oh, but this sucks. I have to go into the menu and toggle it on and off, which is lame. You should be able to just use a regular button when you have night vision goggles on to just toggle them on and off. You have to go into the menu. You have to lip. This is how annoying this is. Go in the menu. Go into uh, style and then go to accessories and then you gotta get out to night vision and then activate like this. Like that's so annoying. You should have to do all that to activate. You should hit like right on the D-pad or even left on the D-pad or something like that to like. Well, that was a bit of a mistake, but all right. About to pull up with the futuristic car. Hurry up and pass by so I can open my door, get in my car, move! Skirt, skirt! What is up with this trash music? Should be a gang attack up here. Yep. Take me to your fucking leader. Ow. Me trying to turn my life around. Okay. Shut the door. Shut the door. Thank you. <laughs> Alright, I'm here, so... Gotcha. Kinda know where to hide unless you go back in here. And then, like... I don't want them to shoot. All right, minigun time. Minigun, thank you. I'm about to die. Oh, that dude has a minigun too, but it's the original. Ugh. Original miniguns. Oh, I can. Can I hide back here? Sorta, of, kinda. Uh, 
so this doesn't become an issue uh, later. Get rid of that. I can still jump on. Alright, cool. Take out the enemies. Where are the enemies? Right there. Oh, this guy's got something. What the hell? This guy was literally just over here unless he just ran. Ran away! Oh, that guy was lighting me up. Alien invasion not going the greatest. I should have stocked back up on snacks. What did I just do that for? Literally, it was weird the way I put the sticky bomb on the guy. I literally just tried to drop it. See someone in the distance. Is that an enemy? You really? You're not hitting them. Okay. Oh, nice campfire would be nice right now. Campfire. What's up, bitch? You spawn back this way or the other way? Yep. I knew it. What the fuck? That was a weird ass spawn. Hey, what's up? Johnny3244. Welcome to the chat, man. How's it going? Just doing a little bit of, uh. Ow! That took it out. Doing a little bit of, um. GTA 5 online, having some fun. You know. Just shooting the shit. That's good, man. Welcome, welcome. Glad. Uh, thanks for thanks for stopping by, man. Appreciate it. <laughs> this guy's literally just like, <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> it wouldn't lock onto him. That's funny. If you guys are liking my content, uh, make sure to, you know, follow me on here, subscribe to me if you'd like to, appreciate the love, you know, I'll always follow back too, so, just throwing that out there as well, I'm trying to spread love in these hard times right now, <laughs> spread love to these guys here, <laughs> the best kind of love. There was a, uh, there we go. Let me do this. Let me just get the heat signal and post up here. Oh, I missed. Yeah, I'm about to die. Put up the wrong weapon. Ow. Yeah, nice. Oh, missed. Not that time. I should really get some s'mores right now. <laughs> Welcome back. Welcome back. I appreciate that, man. There are some good... You know, faith in humanity has been restored. There's some still some good people out there. Because I'm the same way. Like, I'm kind of just starting out as far as YouTube and Twitch goes. So, like, I do the same thing. Like, if I'm, like, if I have free time or whatever, like, I'll go into, like, people that have, like, zero or small viewers and kind of, like, try to help them out a little bit. So, try to give back. But I appreciate you, man. You're a good guy. Feel free to stop by any time if you want to. <laughs> yeah. Are 
you um are you into gaming, Johnny, or or not not so much? Down here somewhere. Yep, I got him as soon as he got me. Well, that's cool. <clears throat> what um, what type of games do you like to play, or or whatever? GTA? Hell yeah! This has been my game for a long time. I've been playing this since it came out in 2013. But I've been playing the other series since, like, I was real little, maybe around, like, five or so. Like, a long time ago. But GTA's been my favorite game for as long as I can remember. One person is just hiding. Um, I'm on PS4. I want to switch to PC over time. Because, like, PC and then, like, for online gaming and stuff like that, it's uh, more convenient. It's a better way to do it. Oh, I got him. But, yeah, I definitely want to switch to PC. <clears throat> uh, but for right now, I'm doing uh, PS4. What, uh, what about you? What platform do you play GTA on? Xbox One S. That's cool. Even though we were supposed to play outside. Oh, trust me. I played a lot outside. I played a lot outside. But whenever I was indoors, I played some GT as well when I was a kid. But uh, Xbox One S, that's cool. I was real big. Like, when I was a kid, like when I was younger, I was bigger into Xbox. Mainly for the simple fact that, like, Halo was out. Like, when I was a kid, Halo was my favorite game. Uh, over GTA, before GTA started, like, going big with, like, Vice City and the first San Andreas, um, but Xbox was my, was my, you know, shit back in the day, like, Halo and all that type of stuff, so I originated with that, but when GTA started getting bigger, I kind of switched over to, uh, PS4, but I wouldn't be, you know, inclined to not, you know, play an Xbox One sometimes, Xbox is pretty cool, but, like, ultimately I want to switch to, you know, strictly PC, but then you gotta deal with all the mods on there, people modding you and stuff. So. Not pulling my phone out, there we go. Hello, you're through to Pegasus Lifestyle Management. How can I help? Your beautiful new aircraft is waiting at our nearest airfield. We hope you're very happy, way. sir. You still got a 360? That's cool. That's cool. Um, <clears throat> what kind of games do you play on it? Like The oldest system I have um, is a one of my favorite ones I used to play is a Super Nintendo, where I, I do some speed runs sometimes. On, uh, on GTA 4. Yeah, it's weird. GTA 4, you can't play on the new Xbox or the new PS4. I think they're trying to, to get it on the, the new platforms, but... Yeah, GTA 4 was was awesome. I used to, like... When I wasn't doing, like, story mode and stuff, I would love to just do random shit. Like, I know! I would love to just get on and just, like, you know, bowl, bowl with, like, uh... 
with Roman, Cousin Roman, and play pool and just do random stuff that were like fun that you can't do in this game. And it was like so cool. And it sucks that you can't like, I mean, I heard like talks and rumors that they're like trying to implement it and the new platforms. I don't know how true it is, but that would be cool. Like I would probably take time away from GTA 5 to just have fun on GTA 4 on like the new platform. Yeah, there's a lot of rumors. Um, I get a lot of updates like on my phone and shit. Uh, there's a lot of rumors of GTA 6. Um, you know, where it's taking place, like the characters, when it's supposed to come out. But no one really knows for sure what what's like happening, I guess with it or whatever. The only thing that would suck about a new GTA that finally comes out is like all the hard work that you put into this game is kind of like not, I don't know, like down the drain in a way because then like you have to like start playing the new game. I mean you could play this still but it's like I just wish they could do it where like they make an update for GTA 6 and it's the same kind of game if that makes sense. like. The way that they do like NBA and Madden and stuff, like a new game comes out every year, that's like a ripoff. Because then people are like spending their hard earned money like 60 bucks a year for one game. But like, it would be cool for a new GTA 6 to come out. But like, the fact that you would like, the fact that you would um, kind of like be, not throwing, I don't know how to explain it, but like, kind of disregarding this game when you put so much time and like energy and stuff into it. Uh, I'm level 367 right now uh, funny story about that um, I first started playing online on this game when it first came out and I had another character it was on I want to say it was actually on an Xbox 360 yeah I want to say it was on an Xbox 360 and I had a pretty high level and the 360 I haven't like whenever whenever you um play your game, you never log out of your, like, network, or, like, your, um, what's the, what's the term I'm looking for? You never really log out. So, like, I legit forgot the email and the, uh, the, the, um, password. So, or no, it wasn't Xbox or I think it was PS, yeah, it was PS3. Um, and I legit, like, forgot, like, the login info, because for at least, like, a good year or two, I never had to, like, log in to do anything. I just played the game. And then, basically, I, um, would, uh, I think what happened was there might have been something happened with, like, a power outage or a storm or something happened where it, like, signed me out of the PlayStation Network. And then it was like, go ahead and log back in. And I'm like, you got to be kidding me. I think I might have been around the same level or maybe around, like, a four or five hundred-ish, I think. And, like, I just, I don't know why, but, like, I never bothered to remember the login info. Because you never have to, like, I never had to log in. Whenever, when I, were, I would turn the system off and back on, it just was automatically logged in. But, I, I was a, it was a learning lesson from there. So, like, the login for this, this account, like, I, I, I saved it. So, yeah, it was a, that was a big L I took. Looks like. Got shit in here. Yeah, it's supposed to be a badass walk style. Like, I think I haven't changed it in like a long time. It's on the walk style. Yeah, it's supposed to be. It's tough guy. Cause there's like regular ones you could do grooving. Like there's normal. And then there's one that I think's funny. This one right here. <laughs> Feminine. <laughs> And then, like, straight up gangster. Which, to me, this doesn't look gangster. This. Is that what you have your set on, is gangster? I don't know. Maybe it does. I guess from the front. From the back, it kind of 
I don't know, maybe. Yeah, I'll do gangster. I'll leave it on gangster. Something different. Okay. Okay, yeah, I'll leave it on there. Um, since you're here, is there anything you want to see me do specifically? Like a steel mission? Uh, gang war? Like steal supplies for my nightclub? Or not my nightclub, from the bunker here? Or like do a gang war? Or anything in particular you want to... Like you want to see me do? All right, I got you. Probably just gonna do. Uh, gonna look for another like gang war or something like that. But yeah, it's weird how, like, I noticed that, like, the style of the player that you walk, it only, like, happens when he walks. When he, like, runs or anything like that or jogs, it doesn't, it's just, like, walk style. But I just thought that was interesting. Let me, uh, see. Let me do. All right. So, like, how long have you been playing GTA 5 online? Uh, I actually have a lot of garages with a lot of cars. I have a lot of money because I grind a lot on the game. Three years? That's cool. What rank are you? But yeah, I have a lot of garages. I have like 20 garages and it's filled with like all kinds of like sports cars, um, off-road vehicles. I got armored weaponized vehicles. I got... You know, just random, like bikes. I got a lot of bikes. You calling for some wheels? I'm Johnny on the spot. I'll hook you up. It's on the way. 1501. Uh, what do you What do you mean? Is that like a name of That's not the name of a vehicle, is it? Doesn't sound familiar. Oh, 151. Oh, l rank. Oh, your rank. I got you. I got you. 151. Yeah. When it comes to like rank, it it matters to some people, and then like other people, it just doesn't really. For me, it used to. That's why I have a higher rank with this new character, and I've had this new character since, like, 2017, so it's been, like, three years that I've, I've gotten the same thing here, um, but it used to matter to me, and then now it's just like, eh, I don't really care, I just play the game to have fun, make a little bit of money, so, you just bought the, uh, Mark II, there's a, this glitch that nobody really knows about it, so, like, most people fly it, and they literally hold down the accelerator button like I'm doing right now like you'll use boost and then boost doesn't recharge itself so if you are flying and you let go of uh, the accelerator and you do like this this little motion here the boost will continuously you see the bottom left hand corner it's going to continuously recharge so you can constantly use boost it's like rock back and forth I guess you could say If you continuously walk back and forth, yeah, yeah, most people don't know about it. Because I watch, I keep up to date and I watch a lot of, like, YouTubers and stuff. Like, they'll use, like, like play this game and stuff. They'll use this vehicle and they'll complain and they'll go, oh, this bike sucks because it's like, you, you can't use the boost and stuff like that continuously. And I'm, like, send them in the comments, like, yeah, you can. There's a glitch to it. You just got to, like, rock back and forth and shit like that. But, um. about to do so what's your is this your favorite vehicle in the game or do you have like a specific one that's your favorite for me personally mine might be a scramjet if you know what that is because it's uh you could just do a lot of sick tricks on it a lot of you know it jumps and boosts and stuff so for me it's pretty pretty fun
Welcome back, welcome back. Good to see you, boss. So, like, what's your, um... What's, like, the vehicle, then, if you don't have a favorite, like, the primary one that you, like, use the most? Like, your go-to. For me, it's like a... Like, if, I'm, if I want to get to A and B pretty fast... I'm going to use the Oppressor Mark II because, you know, it's convenient. It can, you know, take off quick. It can come to a quick stop. Um, I don't like it when I'm online. Like, right now, I'm in a session by myself. I don't like it when I'm in session with other players because it's, like, the worst. It's the worst vehicle in the game when they use the cow. How, why so much money? <laughs> I grinded the game, man. I grind on the game. Like, I have a shit ton of money in here. Like, I got over 33 million in my bank up there. I make lots of money. Like, the way that I make money is three different ways. One is my nightclub, if you have one of those. Two is a bunker. And then three is with the uh, secure server over here. Sit down. Thank you. Uh, three different sources of money that I keep, you know, having flow in. Sometimes I'll spend a little bit of it. Sometimes I will save it up. Lately, I've been saving up. Because there's, like, a new DLC every so, I don't know, a few months or something like that. But lately, I've been kind of saving up here. So I'm talking about, like, your special cargo here. If you continuously, like, buy, like, you go, like, to your warehouse... And buy the most crates here, like 18,000 each crate. Um, when you fill up your warehouse, I have 30 out of 111 crates right now. Act 2 glitch. Oh, the Bogdan problem? I do that um, sometimes with uh, friends. We give each other a million back and forth, but you have to have, like, you know, both. Uh, you have to have two different people that have the Bogdan problem set up. So I. I I haven't done that in a while, but that used to be my go-to for, like, easy easy money. But, like, each time here you buy three crates for $18,000, you're, you're, you're buying the crates. But when the, the warehouse is full, you're selling it for 2.2 .2 mil. So I did the math. You're making about $1.8 million in profit. So you're buying the supplies now to, like, lose money, but you're gaining it back in more when you go to sell the supplies. I'm not going to lie, I make legit... If, if I'm active on the game a lot throughout the week and I keep up with supplies on all three sources of, of selling money, I make about $10 million a week in the game. But, like, you have to be committed. You have to want to, like, continuously get on every day, make sure your supplies are full, like, with the nightclub and stuff. Like, the nightclub or... Um, the nightclub is passive. You just, like, set your technicians to certain goods and just let them grow. With the bunker, what I do with that is I'll buy supplies half the time. The other half the time I'll go steal. Because it also helps with, like, boredom and stuff like that with, like, the whole quarantine thing. So, like, I'm doing that as well. And then, like, I make it, like, I'm, just, I'm bringing, like, I'll spend money. But you have, in this game online, you spend money to make money for the most part. And I'm um, anywhere between maybe eight to ten million, I think, or maybe maybe a little bit more than that a week. But like you have to like really be active, like get on it a lot. You have to have free time basically. And like with me, like working at home right now and stuff, I have <laughs> I have a lot of free time, so I'm able to be more active and hands-on with the game. But. Yeah, those are the three sources. Uh, this warehouse here to make money, and then um, the nightclub and the um, what is that called? Um, the bunker. Yeah. Do you have a nightclub or a bunker? buy my account with all that money. <laughs> um, all I can say is I wish it was real. I wish it was real. If all 
follow them? Are you... Do you, like, keep up with them? Like... Oh, my car. What car was that that was missing? Do you keep up with, like, nightclub and, um... The bunker as far as selling supplies? No, not mechanic. I don't know what I'm thinking. Do you keep up with those or not? Like, not really. Wrong contact. Come on, game. No, not at all. Well, Morse Mutual. How see. can I be of service? I guess I don't have anything. Here. Have a nice day. That sucks. But yeah, that would be. That's a way for you to like. That's a way for you to make the money if you have. If you have all of them, is I guess if you have time, like start with the supplies, um, stealing them or sell or uh, buying them for the, your uh, bunker. And then, like, for the nightclub, if you have the nightclub, that's 100% passive. You just let the, the, um, Boss. let me see here. Hi there. What do you, you need? Let me know what you want, and I'll tell the Pegasus people to get it ready. Yeah, you just, sure. you kind of just, like, the way to the let the nightclub, nightclub goods grow on their own. Because it's 100% total passive. You don't have to do nothing. For the bunker, it's a little bit hands-on, but not too much. And in the end, you make a lot of profit. And the way that I have the game set up is every every day I'm selling bunker supplies because it's that's how active I am with it. That's how full it gets. So that's like a million dollars there. And with the nightclub goods, they don't they grow kind of fast, but not as fast. So I'm selling nightclub nightclub goods probably every other day so if you factor that in I mean with the with the um, the bunker alone it's seven million dollars a week because I'm getting on I'm active and I'm keeping the supplies up so I'm selling them every day and then with the nightclub that's every other day so you figure every other day three or four days there that's three to four million there so that's ten ten million dollars alone but if you factor in like the supplies that I'm buying and stuff they kind of would bring it down a little bit and then you also factor in the um, warehouse goods that I sell, which would be 2.2 million. So that's an additional. So I, the way that I did the math was like it's a, a good average of about 10 million a week. Uh, without without um, buying supplies, would be maybe 12, 11 to 12, well, around 12 million dollars a week. But like I, but I buy the supplies. So if you don't want to buy them, you want to keep supplying them that way. You would make a little bit more money. But um, the cool thing I love about this arcade is if you buy the um, in-game terminal, and I'll actually show you right here. Oh, where's it at here? Upgrades. You buy the master control terminal, you can control everything in your game from one location which is to me is pretty awesome so that's what I do as far as like real money the only thing I did was when I first got started there's a criminal enterprise starter pack and that costs I think at the time it was a deal it was like 80 80 or 90 bucks and it got me started. It got me, like, a warehouse. It got, like, a maze bank. Um, it got me a safe house for my um, uh, biker gang. It, if you're familiar with it, it, it gives you a couple of stuff to get you started. But that's it. And that was, like, three years ago. And since then, I've been doing nothing but, like, working and grinding in the game to, like, build my money up. So, but I, I only started off... And it was recommended by a friend at the time who had a lot of stuff. He's like, yeah, to like kind of boot, if you have the money and you can spend it, it's worth it. Like if you really are passionate about the game, to like boost yourself, especially with how I lost my previous account, the way that I did. He was like, yeah, if you want to like kind of boost yourself a little bit to like get a little bit further ahead, start with the, enter the, um, the criminal pack, 500-ish. That's not bad. That's not bad. I know.
a guy, I'm not really friends with him anymore, but I know a guy that uh, used to play with. He, he would spend, he was a mechanic, so he like, I, th I think he said he made decent money. Um, he would spend, every time he got paid, he would put money into the game. I think he would buy a shark card, like the highest one, which is like the Megalodon, which is like 8 mil. So he's probably spending a good 200 bucks a month for birthdays and Christmases, yeah. Like you put it on your list that you want like money for shark cards and stuff. Yeah. I, that'd be a good idea, that'd be a pretty good idea. But yeah, the guy that I used to be my friend, he, he was like pouring money into this game. And I'm just like, I mean, if you have it and you want to do it, like, we all have our, like, stuff that we're into. You know, our vices or whatever. Like, for me, it's this game. For him, he was way more passionate about it than I ever thought about. And he was pouring real money into the game, like, consistently. So, who knows how much he's put into over time. But I remember him telling me it was, like, a Megalodon shark card. Sometimes it's on sale. Let me, um... I think it's sometimes it's on sale for like eighty four ninety nine, but most of the time it's ninety nine ninety nine. Oh, only microphone audio. Oh, so you're not. Oh, that sucks. Let me just look it up real quick, and I'll come back. Right now it's on eighty four ninety nine, so it's on sale. Megalodon shark car for eight million. So eighty four ninety nine right now. Let me come back to there. There we go. Eighty four ninety nine right now. <laughs> Real money will buy you eight million dollars in game money. But, like, we all have stuff that we're into that probably costs money, so, you know. If I had a lot more money, like, if I was, like, there's, like, people that, like, do YouTube and shit like that that probably buy a lot of shark cards. If it was me and I had that type of money, I probably would consistently buy shark cards, too, just to have so much money. But that's actually a good idea. I never really thought about, like, for birthdays and Christmases, like, requesting like money for shark cards and stuff like that it's actually a good idea because like whenever I get together with family and they're like oh it's time to make a list I'm not materialistic I'm a simple guy so I just I don't never know what to ask for but that's a really good idea I might start putting that on my list I'm gonna go try to find another gang attack I think my buzzard's up there too, that's fine. dirt bike in real life. That's pretty cool. I love bikes. Yeah, I love I love bikes. I think in real life I'd rather have a bike than a um than a car. Just because this is what I like, it's what I'm into and stuff, so What kind of dirt bike is it? Oh, right, I gotta I just put away my weapon for some reason. It won't let me. Come on, come on, weapon wheel. Thank you. It was too late. Uh, I'm I'm located on the East Coast right now. I haven't looked at the time actually in a while. It's 10, 12 p.m. where I'm at. Not too sure. Oh! That's a nice bike. 
I love Honda bikes. Yeah, really good style bikes. Didn't mean to jump over that. Oh, so you're central time. That's cool. Somebody up here behind me. About to die. I gotta get more snacks. That was quick. Oh, he has a minigun, that's why. Yeah, Honda. I love Honda bikes. They're. Yeah, they do. You're right. They're good bikes. <laughs> Shotgun to the face, and I'm still alive. I do love the logic on this game. All right, let me pull out the thing I like to use here. All right. Miss. Shouldn't this time. Oh, he must have ran away. Oh, he did. All right, cool. towards me too. Hey, <laughs> That's funny. I'm about to die. I'm like one bullet away from death. Yep. I knew it. Oh, welcome back, man. That was quick. If you're liking my content, man, you should follow me. I'll follow you back as soon as I, uh, in the stream. Get the fuck out of here. Oh, this guy's like me. <laughs> the post got in my way. The ray gun's probably my favorite gun in the game. Cause it's funny. A funny tactic I like to use when I either like encounter NPCs or like players in the online game. I like to use a combination of what I call the Ray Ray and the Rocky. And I'll show you that by example here in a few moments. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. I'm going to uh, follow you back whenever I uh, end the stream, which might be might be soon, maybe. I don't know. But uh, let me pull up on this guy here. I'm going to show you what I mean. Combination of like my favorite way to kill someone. Okay, he's currently incapacitated with the Ray Gun. Invulnerable, take them out, insta kill right there. So if you're ever online and you got griefers, try that tactic. Most of the time it should work. Let's see if I can ricochet that off and kill him. Uh, a little far away. That one's going to be overshot probably. A little bit. Got him. I got you, I got you. But yeah, I also um I also do YouTube as well, I'm a YouTuber. So if you want to uh check out my content over there, it's literally the same thing as this here, H two O R L Y. Basically it's like H two O really. It's kinda something I came up with. Uh can't get copyright claim on that or whatever. But yeah, it's um just in the YouTube section, if you're ever bored, you want to look it up. Uh, if you want to like subscribe over there to me, I'd appreciate it. Um, it's H2O R L Y, same as um, 
Same as my Twitch here, pretty much, I think. My stats. They are full on the right, my guy. Is that if that's what you mean by my stats over on the right? Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, H two O R L Y is what I'm at on YouTube. But if that's what you mean, which I think that's what you mean, the stats here. They're all full. This guy just randomly pulled up on me. <laughs> You're in my personal bubble. <laughs> <laughs> I want to go back to the. Let me, um. I hope. Let me try something here. Silencer. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. You, um. Do you do YouTube as well? Like. Or. Or no. I can follow you back there as well. But. Yeah, if you're ever bored, you know whatever. Um, check the uh, check out my content. Okay, you have to um tell me what your uh, YouTube is. I'll I'll subscribe back to you. But uh, if you're ever if you're ever like bored or want to like check out my content, <clears throat> it's kind of the same stuff as this. It's pretty entertaining, I'm told from like some of my friends and stuff like that. Um, like, comment, subscribe, you know, all the good stuff. And like I like I I, re, I return the favor as well, but um uh T I'm trying to think um what what am I uh <laughs> what <laughs> I always lose track of mine. I want to go back to my arcade real quick. Yeah, why don't you um hey man, if you want to type to me in the chat what your YouTube is um. And then I'll have my other viewer, I guess, like, screenshot it, because I'm, like, close with them. Um, like, screenshot it or just, like, send it to me in a text message, like, what it is. And I'll uh, subscribe to you as well when I get done with the live stream. And I passed the arcade. All right, cool, cool. Yeah, I'm gonna uh, when the live streams are over, I'm definitely gonna go over there, subscribe and stuff. Back, check out your content. No problem, bro. No problem. I got you. kind of um what kind of vids do you got on your YouTube like what what kind of content do you make more of an outdoors kid yeah is that like I'm I'm both actually I um I guess it just depends on like the day or the mood personal secretary yeah <laughs> for me it just depends on the mood um I'm literally fine with being indoors all day, and I'm also literally fine with being outdoors all day. I'm, I'm flexible. But, um, like, in the winter time, I don't want to be outside much. Because, like, I'm not a fan of winter. I don't like snow. I don't like really cold weather. But, like, if we're talking spring, summer, fall, especially summer, I could be outside all day. I love to swim. Like, my friends call me H2O for a reason because I'm always... <laughs> it's, it's a little cliche, I know, but it's funny. I'm always drinking water. I love water. I drink, like, a gallon a day. It's my favorite drink. Uh, most people think it's plain, but, you know, I personally love it, so it's great. Um, I love to swim. It's, like, my favorite outdoorsy activity to do. I love to fish. You know, water to me. I like looking at, like, the ocean. It's, like, nostalgic, so it's, like, it's kind of cool. Like, you know, it's kind of cool. Let me um, save the broadcast real quick.